this discussion to our guest as well who are joining us on the broadcast mr rp singh from the bjp he continues to be with us on the show krishna teja from the congress party is with us patikrit pain who is a foreign and security expert is with us on the broadcast as well patikrit coming to you first it's the new york times investigation i've gone through that piece it's a lengthy article it forms that article in that article india forms a very small part of it but if you read that overall article it clearly establishes how money and that nexus has been seeping into many countries running the propaganda for the communist party of china uh, good evening well this is influence operation and this is part of the hybrid war where information misinformation disinformation all play a critical role so whenever we talk about warfare for countries like china even for the west it is not just about conventional warfare it is about uh, amplifying fault lines within the societies it is about making sure that in the name of liberty you strengthen uh, you know extremist viewpoints and then you you create chaos within the society hmm. and then uh, weaken the society to that extent that you can control that or you know society or the country from inside hmm. uh, so if you look at what the chinese have been doing they have been doing salami slicing they have been using dead trap diplomacy they have uttered disregard for rule of law and when they do this salami slicing uh, then they go and say okay let's keep aside everything else let's uh, improve in relation in other aspects that's how they mold and you would have a plethora of these websites news portals who would come and say that how good it is to have a belt road that yeah. we, part of the road initiative how good it is to improve relation with united with china look at this particular website we are talking about and the number of articles against rafal that came out in 2018 and 19 and let me tell you the country which actually would have benefited the most if the rafal deal had been shelved was china because rafal has gold start capability but i don't want to get into the technicalities there are five things that china does hmm. number 1 is basically they today they dominate the it and the network system and telecommunication mm -hmm. under an h6 program through which they created their major multinational company companies which are very big in the area of telecommunication mm -hmm. through backdoor they get access to your information mm -hmm. number 2 they actually uh, you know fund many of these portals who are struggling for money and then they mold it mm -hmm. number 3 for a long period of time they are targeting unsuspecting uh, struggling journalists Uh, and then asking them that you can write for us we will have give you a paid uh, visit to china this is how they have been influencing number 4 funding the ngos so it is an entire plethora of thing in the new okay. york times article it is not because of new york times we are saying we are saying even new york times says that this is what the chinese are doing yeah, so it is something absolutely. they have done no but particularly the reason we are having this discussion today is because when this particular news portal was raided by the indian agencies the debate that ensued in the national media and from the opposition parties was as if this was an attack on the free press while that argument should always be looked at with all objectivity and an open mind the the report of the new york times reveals that the chinese propaganda is very real and the organization has been under scanner for the right reasons mr krishna teja in hindsight was the congress party wrong in defending this particular organization yeah first of all welcome to all the panelists i want to very categorically state only for three things first because this is actually a, a very sensitive issue first the organ of the observer research foundation okay which is which is which is which is being run by mr jayashankar son it hmm. is it has received funds worth 3 crores 51 lakhs till date hmm. why is the prime minister silent on it the second point is vivekananda institute international foundation hmm. okay 12 chinese institute in institutes are have received have funded it as per crs daily in 2020 we had article over there why is why why is the prime minister silent and why why are they under the any radar and third point Hmm. why is pm care uh, fund not being made public because hawaii has given 7 crores as per an article then the company tiktok has given 30 crore paytm has, has 38% of chinese which are 38% of chinese ownership right. has given 100 crore and xiaomi i can state like this to, to no, enormous no no but you haven't answered my question say, while you might be say, i i don't want to get into the uh, merit of the arguments that you've made so far they yeah. might be right in their positivity it is open to debate i don't know about them because that's not what i'm discussing today the reason we have particularly picked up this particular news organization is because it directly involves a threat to the national security this is the chinese communist party trying to run an agenda and a propaganda here in india which is directly detrimental 
vital to the safety and security of this nation and isn't the Congress party one of the parties which has made a large uh, huge uh, UN cry and rightly so about what happened in Galwan and what is happening along the LAC. So how can we in any manner entertain the Chinese propaganda? Mr. Krishna Teja, that was my question. If you can answer yeah. that. Okay, sir. Definitely I can answer you because we already the institution is under a scanner and the uh, and the IT scanner if there is any fraud and as per even if there is a derogation of fundamental principles that the freedom of press there is every right of the government to take action and the congress party stand is also clear the country first okay the best interest next any organization which comes and does business in india should be under the and as per the laws of india hmm. this is congress party stands and let me come on the onto the second question when you ask me about the line of actual control why hmm. is the prime minister silent from september 2020 till date on or not coming to discussion on light of actual control krishna ji you have not answered my question the congress party supported this organization when there were raids that happened by the enforcement directorate should yes, you yes, have sir, supported I'm, this I'm, organization yeah yeah i'm coming to the same point the congress party at that particular point of time has said very categorically if there is any fraud involved you definitely sue them and take them into account and just make them public but krishna ji okay. what was the basis for the congress party to support them in any way and form when the raids had happened did you jump the gun is that what the party thinks in hindsight see when some rumors and speculations come on me definitely it's my basic moral responsibility to answer you okay the same thing congress party when congress is being showcased or congress is being defined in a negative limelight from one section of the media it is a moral responsibility as an organization as such to definitely defend it and definitely show what to show the country what exactly I don't, is the truth I, i'm it's sorry but with but done. with all humility uh, your answer doesn't doesn't appeal to my reason because i asked you a very straightforward and simple uh, you know question uh, many times by the congress party and the opposition parties the criticism of the present modi government in the national uh, in the international media is being cited as the reportage of true facts and figures now when those same organizations are criticizing organizations or media institutes like like these for peddling propaganda shouldn't you think in hindsight that you jumped the gun and supported the wrong person or an organization madam one thing see one thing we didn't support anyone we always demanded an objective and a transparent inquiry hmm. this is my straight answer to you okay never we uh, never because that is never we support any institutions because for our party and our organization india first all next Okay, because the All truth right. should be in the public. I I have to this bring in other. I have to bring in another guest also into the discussion. Mr. R P Singh has been listening to us patiently. Mr. Singh.